Goldilocks Productions provides professional internet, TV, and radio shows in the spiritual and new age genre. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Spiritual Insight Show. Sorry for the delay here. We had a little bit of technical difficulty, but um, yay, we're here. We made it. <laughs> so strange. Oh, well, <laughs> at least we're here. Yay. <laughs> All right. And when I say we, I mean angels and guides and hey, we're here. All right. Uh, so welcome to the Spiritual Insight Show. I'm Reverend Tiffany White, Sage Woman. And thank you, everyone, whether you are viewing the show live, that you're watching it or listening to it live or in archives. Thank you so much, everyone, for participating, sitting in Sacred Circle with each and every one of us. And um, yay, Julia, <laughs> it's your time. <laughs> so I just would like to uh, remind everyone um, this evening you're watching the show to please comment, like, and share. Um, like the show, like the like the Goldilocks Productions page, share the show, and please do feel free to comment. This is being um, aired live through um, Facebook by Be Live TV. Excuse me, just one minute. Okay. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't one of you messaging me. Okay, so be sure to please comment, like, and share. Um, we, are, we are streaming live on the Facebook page, Goldilocks Productions. And yes, I will pull a card for you, Michael, in just one moment. And I just wanted to open and s open the show and say hello to everyone. Hi, Ma Maureen. How are you, dear? And so, uh, also, it's raining there in Maine. Yes, Michael, we've in Connecticut, we've had some, some rain as well. So, and then, uh, you know, so kind of like we had a very brief fall and then now it's into winter weather. So, mm. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. I love the change of seasons, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, so you've got to be be happy where you are, right? <laughs> if not, make some changes. Don't make excuses. <laughs> no excuses, just results. <laughs> so, uh, all right. I know we're all working on that, aren't we? We really are. Uh, thank you. Love your kind, calming energy. Oh, thank you so much. And I love each and every one of us who are participating this evening. And you, you can call in. The call it number is 323-870-3791. Um, Be sure to press 1 to get out of listen mode only. And I will do, I will take some callers and also answer uh, the comments in that y'all post. And quite honestly, the comments that are posted are going to be priority. So I'm going to take them and then I will take some callers. So it's just really, really wants you to be interactive here on the live video show um, through uh, Facebook. So, um, and, and I know not everybody has Facebook and that's okay. You can catch the video in archives later. I share it everywhere. YouTube, check my name, Tiffany White on YouTube channel, subscribe, and you'll never miss a show. Excuse me. Um, as well. So, you know, I like to share them everywhere. And as a matter of fact, I do have the live show being shared uh, on so many different social medias. It's LinkedIn. And so uh, check and see um, if you can catch a live stream somewhere else. Anyway, I didn't have a show last week because we had just arrived home from being gone for for about five days, uh, we were out of town, was in Texas. Big shout out to Texas peeps, to the Texas family and friends there. It was a whirlwind visit, you know, and anyone who knows Texas, and I'm sure other states are like this too, um, the city, city to city is like hours away from each other. So the family's pretty spread out. So we didn't get to see everybody this time, 
but that's okay. We'll we'll hopefully see um, see them another time. Uh, you just got to get out there when we can. Um, oh, thank you, Michael, for sharing. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful for that, for you sharing. All right. So what I would also like to do is share some messages. And, and then I will get to, I do see we're going to um, pull the call. I'm going to pull a card for Michael. I'm going to answer your question, Julia. Uh, I like to start off with the, um, of course, after welcoming everyone, <laughs> all you beautiful souls. Uh, I would like to start off with the crystal message for the week. And uh, the crystal message, the crystal gemstone is uh, do more to write. Do more to write. I'm going to display it how do you can spell it. Um, I probably am mispronouncing it. <laughs> so, But it's the crystal gemstone of the week, do more to write. You might want to Google that to see what it looks like. And uh, it's, it's very, very pretty. So Google that and because I would like to see it and then feel the energy from seeing it. Uh, the, the properties of this is that it enhances or and I'm talking about like the energy properties. Um, it enhances organizational skills, self-discipline and orderliness to stay balanced. Because it does require daily care and work, doesn't it? We have to be disciplined in who we are. And I didn't want to say in our spirituality because people were like, what is that? What is spirituality? Um, it, it's really just who we are, our divine being. And that's what we're working for the expansion of this consciousness that we are so much more than we ever were taught. And so it's just stepping into that. So this is a very beautiful um, crystal and gemstone of the week. And it helps support us in our uh, balancing and expansion. All right. So then the power spirit animal of the week is the praying mantis, the mantis. And I want you to picture the praying mantis in your mind. And if you're kind of squeamish, you know, they, they really are beautiful. Have you ever just stopped and stared at them and just go, wow, they're very pretty. And the camouflage, too. Once, once you know, you, and they move very slow. So when you do see them, um, it's like, wow. But it's, they're just so beautiful, magnificent, aren't they? Uh, but they represent the power to move between the moments. See, I just said they move slow, but are they moving slow? Are they moving so fast we don't see them? <laughs> but it's that power to move between the moments. Understanding the circular nature of what we call time, um, like a spiral, right? Um, our existence is not a straight line A to B. It, it is very much spiral in creation and um, that type of energy. So understand that circular nature of really existence. Let's say that instead of time. Um, the power of stillness, being still and kind of almost like blending in. And when you're so still, you blend in, you almost like cloak yourself, don't you? Um, and also represents the female warrior energy. Woohoo! Female warrior energy. All right. So let's get to um, let's get to this because we have a lot of questions taking place now. So uh, let's get to some of these questions. And I do believe the first one um, said I was going to get to Michael. Michael wanted me to pull the card for him. So do, 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 let me go back and find. So, oh, here we go. A card, please. All right, this is for Michael. And the deck that I am using today um, spoke to me. I've been having a lot of communication, more so than usual with my angels lately. And um, I'll go more into that in, in a few moments or after... Uh, I take some questions or answer some, we answer some questions. So this is from Diana Cooper's Angels of Light deck. All right. This is a, this is a, an old, an old deck, but 
but an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> All right, so for Michael pulling an angel card. And I love these because they have a very detailed message as I'm receiving it. I, I love to use the cards as a validation. And so let's see what area they want to touch on for you, Michael. And let's see. And it is um, acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Now, the, each card, it's not like a real pretty design. This is like um, one of, probably one of the first Oracle type of cards. They all look like this with the angels. And then they have the message on the other side. All right, so it's look after yourself by acknowledging your desires and needs and taking steps to meet them. Examine and note your gifts, your talents, and achievements. When you accept all aspects of yourself, you feel centered and confident. Then you can genuinely acknowledge others. Be aware of and nurture the good qualities of the people in your life so that they feel relaxed and happy in your presence. So the angel... Wisdom reminds you to recognize who you truly are. You are an evolved spirit in a human body. And when you acknowledge your spiritual dimensions, you align with your true self and your spirit will soar. That's beautiful, Michael, isn't it? That's truly, truly beautiful. And also, too, Michael, I know you're in, in the restaurant business, but have you ever, it's, it's a service industry. You are a bright light. You put yourself in a place to where you can be of service to others, where you have that beautiful energy exchange. And it's, it may seem like I, you know, you are serving the public, and you are, but in so many more different ways. You are, are that's your way of healing and interacting with people. And so they also, she also puts a really nice affirmation on the bottom of the card. I acknowledge who I truly am. So for you, Michael, I want you to repeat that three times. I acknowledge who I truly am. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely. And so just um, you know who you are better than anybody else does. So don't let anyone try to take you off that, that course and that path. And you just, you help so many people more than you even realize if um and you probably sometimes people don't say that sometimes they do but if your restaurant if you were to shut your restaurant down then you would hear oh my goodness no because you you really are such an important um ambassador in your community i like that word that's there you go breathing it all in yes you are an ambassador an ambassador in your community and that's what we all should strive to be really is Making a difference in our community. Uh, I think we, we take too much on when we, we see the stuff that's going on in, in the world and we feel like we have to, to help globally. How do we help? It all starts at home. It all starts in your own community. So be that ambassador of peace, love, and light and hope All right, for your community. So you're on the right track, Michael. You keep, keep breathing it all in. And um, I leave that with you, my dear. And so thank you so much for watching the show and participating. And continue to watch and participate, Michael. I love the feedback. Okay, so let's see. I do believe there was Michael. Okay, he was the first one going through the comments here to make sure. I don't want to miss anyone. All right, Julia is requesting a card for a new love relationship. Okay. New love relationship. All right, Julia. Yes, you do. Um, I do see love for you at new love, but you have to move first. The move is going to come first. I see a move is a priority first. And when you get in that new area, by this time next year, you're, you know, I want you to tell me about your love life. Oh, a lot's going to happen within 2018. Okay, 2018 is huge for you, Julia. It's huge. All right, but don't drag your feet. Let's get going. You know you've got signs on where to go, where to move to. And um, and then that, that new you, new relationship, oh, it's just going to... Um, 
unfold and blossom and be so beautiful. All right, so let's see what we get. Oh, honesty. You get the honesty card, Julia. Honesty. So angel wisdom reminds you that your every thought, word, emotion, and action is reflected in your aura. When you are honest, your aura is crystal clear. Everyone knows where they are with you and feels totally safe. The angel suggests that you look within and purify any murky thoughts and feelings. And I can, you have been doing this. Keep doing this. Keep working on this. All right. When you're totally honest with yourself, you behave with integrity and dare to be open. And there is nothing to hide. People respect and trust you. As you radiate a resonance of honesty, people respond to you with openness and honesty in return. So your affirmation, Julia, is I am honest in thought, word, and deed. And repeat that three times. I am honest in thought, word, and deed. And most definitely you are very honest, Julia. Um, you're honest with others, but the honesty they're talking about is the honesty within you. So sometimes we lie to ourselves, right? Don't we? We lie to ourselves so that we can get through the day. But this honesty they're talking about is the honesty with yourself. Honest with your feelings. And that it's okay if you don't agree with how you're feeling. It's okay if you don't agree with, with your emotion. Um, you know, it, it's okay. We work through all of it. Okay? And so just keep on being honest with yourself um, you have gone through some tremendous changes this last year and so you have to have been honest right so let's just keep going um, keep going with that all right um, so you've been doing very well uh, okay I'm looking uh, looking at the hold on I'm gonna come back and answer the next one uh, well, welcome, Carolyn. And the praying mantis is my, probably it's this special animal. I think they, they got cut off there. It's probably their, their um, totem animal or one of their animals. Yes, yes, it is. Pray. Very, very beautiful. Again, I know a lot of people think, ew, an insect. But every living being, all forms of nature has a message for us. We have to pay attention. We must pay attention um, and and we must weave um, it, like a spider. This is images I'm seeing here. It is like this webbing, the web of life, like a spider. Be like the spider. And we have to weave it all back together. Separation has ripped a hole in the web of life, so to speak. And where we feel disconnected, we feel disconnected from God, we feel disconnected from nature, we feel disconnected from each other. And so we have to go back in and how we reweave that web just like a spider is, um, is to acknowledge all these living beings and their messages. All right. So that's why I bring messages from all forms of living beings to you to help bring that through to let's let's experience that. And and I'm hoping that you do look up and see what the crystals and gemstones are each week and you sit with that just that picture and see how that feels and if you have the gemstone or crystal at home to sit with it in your hand. But you know the energy exchange it doesn't have to physically be in your hand you can just view it and have that nice energy exchange as well all right and it's the same with the power animal all right and so now june june coat please a card please and thank you okay yes you okay so let's pull a card here for june and thank you so much. A lot of new viewers um, coming in. Thank you for, for participating in Sacred Circle with us this evening. All right, so June. Card for June. And again, I'm using the Angels of Light to Deck by Diana Cooper. Diana Cooper. And this is like so probably a very old deck because it was before each picture, each card had a beautiful. Um, has different picture, I should say. Um, this this particular deck, all of them has 
the pictures of the angel, and then they have the oracle or the message on the other side, which there's such a tremendous glare there. But anyway, so for June, kindness, kindness. Okay. In order to be kind, you must open your heart to the gentle qualities of caring and compassion, not to others, to yourself. There's a lot of self-work messages going on here um, from, you know, a lot of, <laughs> to continue to do the work. Let me say that. Uh, have reasonable expectations and give yourself due praise. In order to nurture the gentle quality of kindness, cherish yourself. When you do something for yourself, you automatically extend that same energy to others. Kindness melts barriers of ice around people and re-empowers those who are afraid. So reach out to the lonely, draw out to the shy, include those who feel isolated and comfort the sad. Your rewards will be a sense of inner peace, warmth, and love. So your affirmation, June, I am kind to myself and to others. I am kind to myself and to others and say that three times. Okay. So any direction and you, you're feeling at a loss. Okay. I feel there's a lot of uh, like, and this is the image of you're being pulled down. You're being pulled down. A lot of heaviness around you. And this is the kindness that you can do for yourself is to get yourself away from situations and people that are very, very heavy. Uh, if, in, if it's around, and it is possible, even if it is your family, even if it is a work environment, it most definitely is. Because you're not around those types of situations 24-7. You must take time for you, all right? You really do. And to give yourself that gentleness and that kindness. And you feel like you're at a loss. What is it that you're you're missing? What is it that you feel you have lost? All right? Answer yourself. That's not for you to answer publicly, okay, sweetheart? That is for you to answer yourself. And so have that kindness. You're a very beautiful soul, and you have gone through and I know we can say also all of us have gone through so many challenges on the third plane but you really have multiple lives on this earth plane have had really hard challenges and um be kind pat yourself on the back for coming back here all right and you are making every one of you make a difference you really do so share this kindness with others and and watch just open the door for someone and watch how they oh thank you now not everybody's like that some people will just mm, like they deserved it and, and walk on don't let that throw you off track don't let them drag you down there to their level just hey you did a good deed if it wasn't acknowledged it is always acknowledged let me stop that maybe not to the person you did that for but is acknowledged by the angels it's acknowledged by all other living beings who witnessed that take place. Okay. So just keep smiling, smiling at people, being nice. Um, and that comes back to you. It really does. Again, don't, you know, don't forget to look for those signs <laughs> and to see those signs. Uh, they're evident everywhere. Signs are everywhere. As, as Julia could tell you, they can be on license plates. They can be on billboards. It can be a song. It can be a phrase that you hear over and over. All right. So now, Maureen. Oh, you're, you are most welcome, dear. Yes. Yeah. So. Ah, uh, thank you. Many blessings to you, June. Many blessings. So. Oh. Um, June, I also am getting more information here um, about it's it's very important for you. You must be around a lot of, I don't know if you're a caretaker. You must be around a lot of people that are sick, uh, physically ill. Um, you need to make sure that you protect your aura, that you're protecting your energy, and just know that you are protected, each and every one of you. Right here, right now, if you haven't given the angels permission 
to come into your life without you ever having to ask again, you need to do one blanket request and it will carry you for the rest of your life. But they wait for permission. Yes, you have your angels that are assigned to you, so to speak, but to access the whole angelic realm. Wow, the whole angelic realm. Let me tell you, that's tremendous. All you have to do right here, right now, say, I give permission for the whole angelic realm to come to me anytime I need you, any and every time I need you without me even having to ask. Just me, me thank you that you're here, you're there, you know, and they will. And let me tell you, it's when you em embrace them and invite them to come into every aspect of your life and they can help you with major things and minor things. Minor things start with asking for a parking spot before you even get there, you know, before you leave, you, you know, before you leave your driveway or your, your parking spot or whatever, ask, say, let me please have a parking spot in front. Or like the first, I always ask for, you know, the first three, any of the first three parking slots to be open. And they always are. All right. And then make sure you, yeah, I always say thank you when, when it does happen, when they, when they, um, I won't say prove themselves, but when they do help you out, please do give the gratitude back to them. And cards are popping out here. Okay. This is for, because I'm thinking of Maureen's love relationship. So this is perfect for you. There we go. Oop, yeah. Did I get the card? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Surrender. Maureen, surrender. Whatever you resist in life persists. Ask your angels to help you dissolve all their resistances in your ego, your aura, the inner conflict and struggle, the rigid mindsets and habits, so that they can flood your life with higher truth and joy. When you surrender to the guidance of your higher self, all the energy you have been using in resistance then becomes available to you. Vitality, inner peace, harmony, and most of all, love are the spiritual rewards. So flow with the pace of life. Relax and tune in. Then follow your guidance of your intuition, knowing that the angels will support you at all times. So Maureen, this is for you. Um... Every area in your life, your affirmation. I surrender to the flow of life. I surrender to the flow of life. Say that three times. I surrender to the flow of life. That's good for all of us to say. <laughs> we all should say that. I surrender to the flow of life. Because you, I want you to stop and think about this for a moment. Because when we try to resist or fight something, that's energy that we are wasting. Isn't it? It really is. And when, and trust me, I used to do this. I used to try to be like a control freak with my life. You know, I think my life should have been this way, this, 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 you know, at an outline <laughs> every day. This is my plan of the day. I'm sticking with it. And, you know, I was fighting myself. I was missing out on opportunities because I thought I should um, go after these things. I thought that this was my goal. I thought that I had to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G in that particular order. And I realized what a lot of energy I was putting off. And why am I fighting myself? And when you truly get overwhelmed and then you just throw it in the air and just go, you know what? I surrender. Forget it. I just surrender. And it's at that moment of surrendering that we realize, you know what? Yeah, I am looking at this totally, totally wrong. And, or just, yeah, wrong. Or I'm looking at it from the, the incorrect, I'm looking at it from a shallow tunnel vision point of view. And instead I need to see the whole thing, right? So it really, 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 um, I just went blank. I'm like, I'm sorry, <laughs> the guys are all talking at the same time and the angels. Thank you. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so fill in the blanks of whatever I was going to say. <laughs> I'm reading everyone's comments and, and I'm telling you I'm getting everyone's answers all at the same time. So let me breathe this out. <laughs> oh yeah. So go with the flow of life. Thank you. Go with that flow. Go with the flow. It's so much easier. It really is. Oh, hello, beautiful Kristen. What deck is this again? Okay, this is um, Diana Cooper's Angels of Light. Diana Cooper, Angels of Light. Uh, I'm trying to see if they have... Oh, they do have the ISBN. I'm trying to see when they had a copyright on... Um, it is by Hay House. Oh, no, it's... No, it's not. It's Find Horn Press. Find Horn Press, sorry. I want to see because I've had this deck for a long time. So that's why I'm kind of curious too for those of you who may want to know. Um, yeah, it's 2001. It's 2001. So the Oracle decks, <laughs> when they came out, they didn't have, they weren't as ornate as they are now. They all had, or I could say they were all kind of different, but they started off with just one image on the back and then the messages. So this is a 2001 deck. Um, if you can't get it from, um, what did I say that press was? Find Horn, like find a horn, find horn press. If you can't find it, you, you should be able to, There should even if it's used. But uh, it's a very nice, very nice deck. It's one that I, I resonate with. And, it, and um, yeah, so, all right. I hope that helps. Uh, let me see. You would love. Okay, Tracy. Let me give you a reading here now. Or give me. Let me. Let us give you some messages. I'll pull a card for you. Ooh. All right. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. What's a message for Tracy? Does she need to hear? Hmm. Commitment is your card, Tracy. Commitment. All right? Commitment. Angel wisdom reminds you that when you aim for a vision without doubt or deviation, it must succeed. All right? When you aim for a vision, it's for your highest and greatest. Your guidance is to perceive towards your vision. Uh, again, as long as it's always checked to make sure it's for your highest and greatest, if you feel the resistance, it's not for your highest and greatest. And then you have to stop, pull back, go with the flow. Because nothing is more powerful than focused energy on what's for your highest and greatest. All right. And the angels will see that pure light of your com your commitment. And whether it's in a relationship, um, a job, a situation, a journey, or anything else in your life. All right. Remember to ask them for help and know when you dedicate your attention to the highest good for you, for humanity, that they will assist you. And so your affirmation, Tracy, is I am committed to my vision. Say that three times. I am committed to my vision. I am committed to my vision. That's another one for all of us to say. We are committed to our vision, to our mission. We are committed to that. And we're not alone. And we do have assistance all the time. All right. We really do. We really do. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That's great. That right there, that right there, touched by angels. Absolutely. Touched by angels. Whew. All right, Carolyn, a card for my week ahead. Okay. Yes. All right, Carolyn. Carolyn would love a message for her week ahead. You need a vacation really soon. <laughs> um, you need a good two week vacation. Um, yeah, you need that's that's the first thing I'm hearing before I even pull a card for you. They just want me to tell you that <laughs> right off the bat before your week ahead. <laughs> Let's. See, um, oh, you have Archangel, Archangel on 
and I hope I don't say his name wrong. Her, his, her. Archangel Chamiel um, works, yeah, on the pink ray of love and being blessed with this Archangel card indicates that you're ready to open your heart to unconditional love. Love has no restric restrictions and accepts all people as they are, nor does it judge. True love is so powerful that it dissolves hurt, anger, and separation. Let love through, let love flow through your heart and touch your loved ones, those you dislike and strangers. Yeah, it, that's kind of hard, isn't it? But you sh we shouldn't stop that flow of love. This creates a bridge of light which the angels can move along to bring hope and peace. In return, your life will be blessed and filled with love. Your affirmation is, my heart is filled with the flame of love. With the flame of love. With the, my heart is filled with the flame of love. My heart is filled with the divine flame of love. That's the love we're talking about, the divine love. So your heart's filled with that. and Let that radiate out. In all directions, see how that feels. That feels wonderful when you do that. Ah, oh, it feels so good. I always tell people to think of you yourself as a divine lighthouse. All right. And our sacred heart center, right in the center of our chest, is where the light is, and we let that shine out in all directions. And that where the light source comes from comes either from up through our feet or down through your head, however you are both, you know, like the figure eight. Because remember, the energy doesn't flow in a straight line. It really doesn't. And um, the energy when it goes up your chakras is not straight. They are the, like the kundalini snakes, like your DNA strand. They move like this. All right. They're very spiral and with their energy. Okay. So, uh, all right. So let me see. I think she responded yet. Yeah, vacation the last two weeks of December. There you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's going to be very, it's good for you, for your heart. Feels awesome. Oh, God bless you. And thank you. And I'm just the messenger. So let's thank the angels and the guides and, um, work on your heart, that heart area more. Um, I know we've all been hurt, but Carol, Carolyn, it's important for you to take that time for you. Deep breathing too. And they're, they're telling me deep breathing in, you know, in and out um, from your gut, deep, deep down. Just have those deep breaths. And uh, here's some, some good advice. I know I've said this before, shared this before. Don't take everything so darn personal, even when it comes for your, from your family. All right? Um, and I know that people go like, what? You know, oh, I don't understand. Let me let me share this with you real quick. Um, we'll go through <laughs> Kristen, 2001, I wasn't born then. Oh, not, yes. Okay, Kristen. <laughs> You go, girl. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> All right. So, <laughs> and laughter is so good. See, see, this laughter is great for the soul. It, it really helps bring in that light, doesn't it? It really does. Laughter helps. Oh. Okay, when I say don't take everything personal, even loved ones around you. When I was in Texas, when we went to see some family, there were some family members that um, we didn't get a chance to see, and it was their choice. Now, so, you know, on the way back, the flight home, so you have time to think, and we overthink sometimes, don't we? What did I do wrong? You know, the, and it's like, wait a minute. Then my, my angels and guides are reminding me, oh my gosh, you're taking it so personal. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks about you. Get over it. <laughs> you know, they talk to me like this because I need that roughness. <laughs> so it's like, oh, please. Um, and, and yeah, yeah, you're right. You know what I am? I'm taking it so personal and I've got to stop, take myself out of that. That there's always something going on 
with people. And we always think that it's directed back at us. And so I just let it be. And then come to find out it is just that wasn't, you know, doesn't, doesn't matter. You know, um, the, the dynamics between me and that person, there was other things going on. And so uh, I shouldn't take this so freaking personal. Right. Um, and that's good advice for everyone. I even have to use that with, with my spouse, with, you know, how many times, well, first off, when you start with your partner, you know, your spouse, your the person that you're married to, you find yourself starting to just yell at each other and scream. And even with family members, okay, even your kids you can do this too. We're venting, we're letting stuff out. And when we start talking at each other and not to each other, we um, we get nowhere fast. And so it's like, stop, you know, so obviously we we were wounded or we hurt or and we're just expressing that. And to have effective communication, we've got to be honest with ourselves of what's going on and then try to sort it out. And if you can sort it out together, you sort it out by yourself. But just um, know that it's a very normal part of life, right? So it really is. Um, okay, vacation last year feels awesome. Right, okay, I already said that one. Um, oh, hello, Julie. Welcome from the UK. Ah, oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you for staying up a bit late. <laughs> from the, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. And uh, if you would like for me to pull a card for you, Julie, just just let me know. Give me a message if you what area in your life or what you would like. Uh, I'm not going to impose and just pull it. You have to ask me. All right. So I do have another request from Andrea. Um, oh, you were on hold. You were on the phone. Oh, there you go. Okay. Thanks, Andrea. Yes. Decided to come here. I was wondering if you have a card, a new relationship for me as well. New relationship. Yes, yes, yes. Um, okay. Here's something I'm being told to tell everybody. And then I'm pulling a card for you, for you, Andrea is, um, oh, that was great validation. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. We, um, for all of you who believe that there is a, a twin soul, a twin flame, um, a soulmate that's just for us or, or like another part of us. We can't say half of us or another part of it because we really are, are whole and complete all by ourselves as far as a being all right connected when we connect with each other we are part of a whole all right now um and i'm talking about collectively all of us together not just one other person so the whole idea of twin flames has been uh romanticized fantasized has been misrepresented it really has and more and more people are coming out and saying this and, and validating that I would never ask to be with um, with creation how we how how we divided what what I'm going to be a female in this life or where's the male aspect we're all female and male within us but we always feel like whatever your first you have to find your true sex what is your true sex in that spirit energetic type of form guess what we're both um one can be more dominant of course our characteristics and who we are and the, well, the language i'm using here is hard because um we don't recognize uh sometimes what the, what the angels talk about because they come from a place of complete love and oneness and they don't understand our separation they know we chose it, but they, you know, they don't agree with it, but they're here to help us get back to that. So to ask for maybe another aspect of yourself is one of the hardest things you would ever have to do. To live with someone like that would not be easy. 
because you would both want to challenge and push each other to be the best version of you ever. So it wouldn't be easy at all. And, and you would think that it's someone that, um, you know, we should be harmonious. Um, but that's, that's not how it is. And, and I'll ask for some more guidance on that because right now when something that's so fresh, and I don't want to say so new, when they talk about things, I have to, um, to use verbiage and wording that it, where it translates that we understand because otherwise it can kind of sound so foo-foo, <laughs> so fluffy. And, uh, but they acknowledge Everything they say, everything they share with us is balanced in good and bad. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. I've just babbled on. Uh, Andrea. <laughs> Andrea. <laughs> oh, I love when the angels and the guides get very chatty. All right. So makes me feel like, you know. <laughs> okay, let's stay focused. Um, Andrea, what message do you need to hear? Um Okay, discipline. Uh, it's self-discipline, all right? Someone who is undisciplined is a hazard to themselves and to others, all right? So through discipline comes freedom. What did I say discipline with? Oh, you know what that was? That was the, um, that was the gemstone and crystal was enhances organizational skills, self-discipline, and orderliness to stay balanced. Ha-ha! I love when everything all comes together. <laughs> Through discipline comes freedom. The master you are called on to obey is your higher self. You, come, you have come to this earth on a mission, and only self-discipline will enable you to fulfill it. So tune in and ask your guides for their help and support so that your life becomes happy and rewarding and divinely directed. Discipline is a key to fulfilling your destiny. Okay. I know you want a new relationship. And you want a new relationship with someone outside of you. You have to form a new relationship within you first. Have that new relationship within you. Here's your affirmation. Self-discipline brings me freedom. Say that three times. Self-discipline brings me freedom. All right. And it really does. As we are in this this powerful expansion and um, time that we, we are in, and we are, we just are expanding and growing and transforming and the whole, we really are ascension process. We are even um finding out new we're learning more about ourselves finding out new aspects of ourselves that we maybe didn't see or recognize before so you are having a new relationship with yourself um andrea and then that as within so without we have it backwards when we were taught that whatever you do that brings you happiness within we have to first create that blueprint and manifest within us, within our heart, within our dreams, our hopes, our visions, our mission. Stay focused. It's within us. We always reflect what's inside of us to the outside and attract that same type of energy. So that's why it's always important. Start within. Have a list of the qualities and the traits you would like of someone that you would like to be to have your partner to have a partner come in and it's fun to do things together you know and, and so you already know what you don't want and please don't put anything negative on these lists on the list it's going to be very balanced and positive and you know that kind of thing so have a this is what I would love to have. Okay. And, um, and let that manifest. What I think I see a really good comment here. Um, I
But yes, my twin flame is me. It's it in burns within both my strength and my weakness. Yes, Julia. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's it exactly. Absolutely. So that um but Julie, Julie Bell, thank you so much. Uh the twin flame is inside of you. We are complete. There's no one outside of you who's going to complete you. Please stop and think just for one moment. We've had many, many lifetimes, whether on this earth plane or off this earth plane, in other universes and other dimensions and other planets, you know. Uh, and we've always had, and think about in your lifetime how many lovers you can have. All right? In one lifetime. Now multiply that by at least everyone that, that I've come in contact with in this this time and days had at least 25 past lives and that's just on this earth plane not talking about the other past lives as well that's off this earth plane so when you think about how many past lives we've had and how many lovers and soulmates we've had that's a lot of people so then we come in this life and you want to find that one person mm. We need to find that within ourselves. <laughs> then there's no disappointment. Seriously. You know, um, don't give away your happiness. Don't give someone else the keys to your happiness. You are responsible for all of that. Okay? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Kristen. Did I hurt your feelings? I'm sorry, sweetie, that hurts. Hard not to take that personal, but you can definitely handle it. What did I say? <laughs> I think Kristen was poking fun at me. Uh, okay. All right. Well, you can clarify what, what Kristen. Anyway, um, so... Absolutely. We are or equal and balanced in this, this lifetime. We really are. I want to talk something to just briefly here. So don't, um, all right. There's many, and the fact that we've had a lot of past lives also explains the gay, the lesbians, transgender that we see a lot right now. They remember Maybe the true essence, thank you, the true essence of where I was more masculine or I was more feminine or, uh, you know, and it can be in the, in the uh, past life that was their happiest. It could be their true form. It can, you know, um, a, lot, a lot of lot of people are coming in now and the, what they're what their point is, is to try to show that there is so much prejudice in every way, shape, or form. With the color of our skin, with the sex, right? I mean, with who we are, male or female. Uh, you, you know, how men's tried to have women under their thumb for thousands of years. Um, but the patriarchal rule is fallen. And it's not back to matriarchal. It's to balance. It's both. It's both honoring both. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So let's take a deep breath and recognize the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself. Many of you do have dreams. Uh, you can have dreams of your past lives. Um, past life dreams will repeat themselves. Always ask to look at your hands or look at your feet. Just look down to see if you're dressed, right? How you're dressed, what you're wearing. And you can tell if you're a male or female in that, in that life. I've had a lot of lives as male in past lives. And I had a hard time. I grew up as a tomboy and I had a hard time in this life for a very long time. Um, embracing my femininity, embracing being who I am in this life. Um, now, I'm not, this is my experience. This is what I had come in. And 
and I was full of anger and I had, and so right at the time, right before I hit puberty and I hit it late for me, which I was happy because I could play sports for, for a long time. But, you know, uh, Isis, the goddess Isis came in and helped me to, she worked with me. She worked with me um, to, to honor that. Now I'm not saying that, so you never know what someone's struggle is. It doesn't really matter what they look like, masculine or feminine. You, you know, that kind of thing. We just need to stop with so much judgment, so much, and just love. And yes, absolutely, Krista, we are all equal. Simple as that. We are all equal. We all have the, the divine masculine and feminine within us, period. And see, it's hard to explain. Separation really is hard to explain because that's not who we are. We are one. We are equal. And that's simply put. Right, Kristen? Exactly. So either you understand it or you don't. Um, and I don't mean to be so harsh like that, but it's my, you know, your eyes definitely open when we are in the upper vibration and we expand and open up more and we realize that when I'm with others in the upper vibration, whether it's meditation or healing and I can get there quick, this is where healers and readers, and when you get a reading, it should be a healing, all right? If you come away from a reading, I tell you, and there's doom and gloom and, oh my gosh, give me money for this protection, you run. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you should never feel that way. Um, all healing comes from the very high vibration. And all that is, is, is we connect and we spiral together to the upper vibration and help you to remember your true divinity. When you see yourself, feel yourself, experience yourself in the upper vibrations, there is complete wholeness. And that feeling is beyond words, is beyond explanation. It's just so beautiful and powerful. And that helps you to deal with whatever dis-ease you have when you, when you come back to your body, so to speak. And it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to take care of this, take care of that, take care of this, and bam. Um, this is what people are miraculously healed, all right? is they did a lot of course it was the teamwork with the angels and with them in the upper vibration and going okay i'm not gonna let these things physically make me sick anymore all right so oh thank you so much i love your messages you show my dragon to me um oh yes yes with the angel deck right you know and that is also diana cooper that's her newest deck is the dragon cards um so Oh, beautiful, beautiful. My female dragon. Yes. And I work with my dragons too. My female dragon is like a purple blue, like a cobalt blue. Her name is Sophia. Work with your dragons. They help you. I know I talked a lot about angels. Angels and dragons are the powerful duo. They're a powerful team. And uh, so if you haven't caught any of uh, my my shows talking about dragons um, be sure to to listen to them in the archives and if you have any messages of course please feel free to message me email me you can contact me through my website which is whitesagewoman.com uh, or right on facebook right here so thank you so much everyone the time just went by so fast it really did um and so thank you, everyone. Thank you, Julia. May you have a nice week, too. Each and every one of you, thank you for sitting in sacred circle with us this evening. And may the obstacles to your flight be few and the blessings along your journey be many. Good night, everyone. And have a wonderful and happy and grateful Thanksgiving. <laughs>